So in front of us, we've got a typical four-cylinder engine, uh, 16 valves, and these are all the major components. Let's first start with the engine block. All the components will fit on top or inside of this block. Thank you. So do I just place it here? Just place it on top of the oil pan. Okay. Right. So next we'll put on the cylinder head. This houses the valves and the valve springs and the spark plugs. So that just goes on top and of the, the block. Manifolds. That's correct. Well done. Camshaft. This opens and closes the different cams based on timing. And that goes inside the, of the cylinder head. Okay. Yes. There we go. This is the camshaft. It moves the pistons up and down in the cylinders. So that's in the block. That's in the block. This is the inlet manifold. Okay, what that does goes, that do? Um, the uh, air and fuel mixture is basically mixed inside of that, and then it moves, the mixture goes inside of the cylinder head, which transports it through to the cylinders with combustion expansion. Oh, so that sits... That goes there. There. Yes. This is the other camshaft. So remember, we've got 16 valves. Okay, so the one is for all the inlet and the other one for outlets. Basically, you've got inlet and outlet. Yes, they are two separate okay. cams. Piston rods. These guys transfer the motion from the uh, from the crankshaft to the pistons. Okay, so that's connected that to the crankshaft. That goes onto the crankshaft. Okay, well, let's put on the spark plugs. They, so they provide the spark for the um, fuel and air mixture to combust. So they, they sit inside the head? They go inside the head. Here's a piston. The piston basically reduces and expands inside the cylinder, creating a volume for combustion of gases. So that sits inside in the block. Of the cylinders in the block. This is the tappet cover, or the cam cover it goes right on top there we go it, it basically protects um, all the components from dust and the oil from dust this is the distributor cap that goes on top of the um, cylinder head okay it transfers it spark from the um, from the main battery through the coil through to all the spark plugs. Okay. The timing gear that goes on the crankshaft that uh, provides timing for the um, all the components that's driven by by the crankshaft. Okay. Clutch plate engages and disengages the transmission when you change gears. When you change gears. This is the actual transmission, the gearbox. It fits over the clutch plate like so. Uh, let's put in the valves. They go on top inside the cylinder head. There we go. We need valve springs as well. They just force the valve back into position. The cams open them and the springs close them. Okay. Exhaust manifold. All the exhaust gases go out, of, out through this manifold through to the exhaust of the car. And this is the air box. The air comes in through the front of the engine through that box and goes okay. and mixes with your fuel, which is provided through your injectors. So this is the four cylinder engine now in operation, slowed down quite a bit. And you can see the different um, strokes of the engine 
and you can see the combustion as well that occurs with every spark. The combustion drives the piston down, which um, turns the up and down motion into circular motion through the crankshaft, which drives the transmission, which drives the wheels. Well Thank done. you. Sure.